But even with all that, it is still really easy today to prove that the Bible has a huge impact on who we are even now. Just the way we talk to one another. Do you know that we have 257 idioms in the Bible? Of idioms in our language that come directly from the Bible. I mean, these are phrases you hear every day, and they're all direct quotes out of the Bible. 257, you recognize these, by the skin of your teeth. I'll give you my two cents worth. A leopard can't change his spots. There's nothing new under the sun. Signs of the time, a thorn in the flesh, cradle to the grave, handwriting on the wall, a fly in the ointment. You go through 257 phrases we use on a daily basis are Bible quotations. That's how much the Bible influences just the way we talk to one another. Now, if you want to have a lot of fun, Next time you're out and you go to, I don't know, Walmart or you go to Lowe's or Home Depot or you go to Macy's, whatever, you'll hear somebody use one of those 257 phrases. And when you hear them use that, you ought to stop them right there and say, hey, do you know what Bible verse you just quoted? Now, of course, they won't have a clue. But the problem is they're going to look at you and say, no, I don't. What Bible verse was that? And we won't have a clue either. So, you know, as Christians, we don't even know where this stuff came from. Every one of these has an address. Every one of these Bible verses you see right there. And see, I think where we are today is very accurately described by President John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams said this. He said, with regard to the history contained in the Bible, it's not so much praiseworthy to be acquainted with it as it is shameful to be ignorant of it. See, we've come to a point in American history where we've had a cultural default. Today, if you had recognized the addresses for those, those idioms, we would have praised you. said, I can't believe that you knew that. That is so cool that you knew that. And back in their day, they would have said, whoa, you didn't know that came out of the Bible? How can you call yourself an educated person and not have read the greatest book in the history of the world? See, the cultural default is exactly opposite. Everybody knew that back then. Today, very few people know that.